Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. Students, today we are going to do an important topic that is priority sector lending. This is the most updated priority sector lending class available on bank exams today and even on YouTube, right? Most updated and most comprehensive. Detail mein priority sector lending karenge. So let's start the section. Uh, wherever uh, I feel like a particular point is important, I'll mark a star. So please note that. And you are supposed to remember the numbers. I will tell you what I have to do. I will tell you what I have So my name is Ramandeep Singh and I have been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years. And this is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts. Okay. And PNB Credit Officer 2024 course, it's available on bankexamstudy.com. Uh, link is available in the description and this is a demo session for PNBSO Credit Officer and Union Bank of India. Uh, Forex Scale 1 course and the Credit Manager Scale 2 course. Okay, so let's start the session. Uh, let me just hide my face so that you can focus or concentrate on the session. What is priority sector lending? First of all, PSL hai kya? See students, banks were not interested. So the banks, they were not interested in giving loans to agriculture, to education. Wo kyun de inko loan? They were interested in giving loans to the corporates. Wahan se ek saath hazar karoot ka loan do and then they, they get the interest. But RBI said, no, you, you need to give loans to the priority sector, to the specific sector, which otherwise would, won't get the loan. Jinko nahi milega, theek hai. So the specific sectors unke liye targets banayege. and that's what we are going to understand in this whole session what we are going to learn uh, the targets for various sectors the what are the targets for various sector targets kya hai sabse pehle to we are going to understand the targets and limits how to identify or how to identify the various uh, you know loans whether they are priority sector loans or not and we are going to learn the various amendments or the updates jo bhi aaye hain so sari ki sari updates ko maine ek hi jagah pe ikattha kar diya hua hai right so you can also read it on rbi's official website if you want to i'll give the link in the description theek hai so let's do it uh, with the let's start our session with the limits I'll let you know kya kya paper pe aata hai. this particular table is very important. So 40% of A and B C or uh, C E O B E. Uh, now the definition of A and B C. In one of the exam I have seen is ka full form kya hai A and B C ka. It is adjusted adjusted net bank credit. A and B C adjusted net bank credit that is a full form of that is a full form of A and B C. So I have seen this in the previous papers or C E uh, O B E credit equivalent of off balance sheet exposure. Take whichever is higher. So adjusted net bank credit is the jitna bhi bank ne credit diya, uska 40% right. So A and B C ka full form that is important. Okay. This whole table is important star laga diya. So 40% of A and B C should is a target total priority sector target combined priority sector target for domestic uh, commercial banks excluding RRBs and small finance banks and foreign banks with 20 branches and above. For foreign banks again it is 40% of A and B C or CEO B E out of which 32% can be in the form of lending to exports but not less than 8% can be to any other priority sector. Okay. Foreign banks have 40% hona chahiye target, but 32% can be towards uh, lending to exports, hai? <clears throat> which is also the part of uh, priority sector. For the regional rural banks, the target is 75% of ANBC or, or CEOBE, right? Whichever is higher, right? Uh, however, lending to medium enterprises social infrastructure and renewable energy shall be reckoned for the priority sector achievement only up to 15% of ANBC. Uh, aage padenge hum. This is also part of priority sector, renewable energy and social infrastructure. It's a separate limit, hai, 15% for RRBs. For small finance bank, it is 75% of ANBC or CEO B, whichever is higher. This question was asked in the previous paper, 75% this one also asked in the previous paper so this is very important these two questions were asked in the 
प्रीवियस पेपर जहाँ पे मैं स्टार लगा रहा हूँ आई हैव सीन दिस क्वेश्चन इन लास्ट थ्री फोर ईयर्स इन द वेरियस एग्जाम्स मैनी टाइम्स आई अपेफ ऑफ द एग्जाम मैनी टाइम्स एज अ स्क्राइब मैनी टाइम्स आई अपेफ माई सेल्फ राइट विद यू नो आई जस्ट अपे जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ चेकिंग द एग्जाम तो आई हैव सीन दिस ओके एग्रीकल्चर का टारगेट एटीन परसेंट ऑफ ए एन बी सी और सी ई ओ बी ई विच एवर इज हायर नाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन एटीन परसेंट टारगेट है एग्रीकल्चर का दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आज इन एस बी आई सी बी ओ एग्जाम हेल्ड लास्ट आई गेस लास्ट मंथ इट वॉज हेल्ड सो इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एटीन परसेंट ऑफ ए एन बी सी और सी ई ओ बी विच एवर इज हायर आउट ऑफ विच टारगेट ऑफ टेन परसेंट इज प्रिस्क्राइब्ड फॉर स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स ठीक है नाउ दिस टेन परसेंट इज ऑल्सो ऑफ ए एन बी सी और सी ई ओ बी ये अठारह परसेंट का दस परसेंट नहीं है ये टोटल क्रेडिट का ए एन बी सी का टेन परसेंट है नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टेन परसेंट इज फॉर मार्जिन फार्मर्स एंड आई हैव सीन द सेम क्वेश्चन इन आर आर बी एग्जाम वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके फॉर रीजनल रूरल बैंक इट्स सेम राइट इट्स ऑल सेम ठीक है For micro enterprises, seven point five percent of ANBC COBE, right? It's same for all other categories. Foreign banks पे ये applicable नहीं है. Advances to weaker section यहाँ पे twelve percent है for domestic commercial banks. Twelve percent है small finance bank. Fifteen percent है for regional rural bank. Little different, right? So you are supposed to remember. See one, two, three, four, five, six. There are seven, six, seven questions in this table only. I have seen these questions multiple times in the exam. Multiple times. I can assure you. I mean, maybe even in this exam, you'll find one question from this table. Very common. SBI CBO me ye wala aaya tha. Eighteen percent. Directly eighteen percent. Jo bhi last week paper hua hai. Last month I guess. Twenty eighth of January ko I guess paper hua hai. Twenty second of January ko paper hua hai. Eighteen percent of NBC. It was there. I have seen this question in the RRB. 15 परसेंट इन द पास्ट आई गेस पिछले साल हुआ या उससे पिछले साल आई हैव सीन इट सो दीज आर द क्वेश्चन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू आर सपोज टू रिमेंबर इट सो आर बी आई गेव अ टारगेट्स कितना आप बैंक को देना पड़ेगा लोन टू द प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर में क्या क्या आता है एग्रीकल्चर है माइक्रो एंटरप्राइजेस है एडवांसेज टू वीकर सेक्शन है आपका एडुकेशन है आगे आगे आएगा जैसे जैसे हम करते जाएंगे आपको सारा पता चलेगा ठीक है सोशल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है रिन्यूबल एनर्जी है हाउसिंग लोन्स है वो सारा हम करेंगे आगे आगे चलते चलते ठीक है सो आई होप दैट इज क्लियर दिस टेबल इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जाम नाउ फॉर प्राइमरी अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स सो दे केम इन टू द कंट्रोल और मॉनिटरिंग एम्बिट ऑफ आर रिसेंटली तो एकदम से तो दे कैन नॉट गिव दम अ टारगेट राइट ऑफ सेवेंटी so they started with 40% for the financial year 1920 then 45% in 2021 and gradually this uh, target is to be achieved of 75% by financial year 25 26 it had to be achieved in 24 only abhi tak achieve ho jana chahiye tha but it had been extended micro uh, enterprises ka 7.5% of anbc it is again the same advances to weaker section it is 12.5% for sorry for that it is 12.5% not 125 12.5% and this has to be achieved by financial year 2025 26 okay so uh, <coughs> uh this is not 12.5% this is 12% okay see that is a benefit of recorded session i just checked it on rbi's official website it is 12% not 12.5% no need to double check it this is 12% uh i'll provide the notes and in the notes i'll correct it okay so ye target hai 12% ka they need to achieve it by 25 26 theek hai so very important students okay all domestic and the foreign banks with more than 20 branches are directed to ensure that lending to non corporate farmers does not fall below the system wide average of last 3 years achievement jo last 3 years ki achievement hai for the non corporate farmers right unko jo loan diye hain usse niche nahi jani chahiye right so every year the rbi updated for last year it was 13.78% every year rbi is going to update it this target is going to be updated by rbi every year so that's a thing now adjustment for weights in the psl achievement see students in some of the uh, districts 
पी एस एल लोन्स वर नॉट प्रोवाइडेड कुछ एक डिस्ट्रिक्ट में बहुत सारा पी एस एल लोन दिया जा रहा था कुछ एक में बिल्कुल नहीं दिया जा रहा था तो आर बी आई मेड अ लिस्ट ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट आई मीन एंड दे कैटेगराइज इट द फर्स्ट वन लो पर कैपिटा क्रेडिट डिस्ट्रिक्ट राइट वे आर द पी एस एल क्रेडिट वॉज लेस देन सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड डीज डिस्ट्रिक्ट रिसीव अ हायर वेटेज ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट सो इफ वन लाख रुपी का क्रेडिट प्रोवाइडेड इन द लो पर कैपिटा क्रेडिट डिस्ट्रिक्ट दैट वुड बी कंसिडर्ड वन लाख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू वर्ड्स प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लेंडिंग टारगेट्स एंड हाई पर कैपिटा डिस्ट्रिक्ट वे आर पी एस एल इज ग्रेटर देन ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड पर कैपिटा द वेटेज इज नाइन्टी परसेंट हेयर सो दैट मोर लोन्स मोर क्रेडिट वुड प्रोवाइडेड टू द लो पर कैपिटा डिस्ट्रिक्ट ओके सो दैट वॉज अ दैट वॉज अ रीजन बिहाइंड दस ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दास इन द प्रीवियस पेपर्स स्टार इज देयर ओके फार्म क्रेडिट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फार्म क्रेडिट वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन लोन्स टू इंडिविजुअल फार्म्स और जॉइंट लाइबिलिटी ग्रुप्स राइट सो दैट इंक्लूड्स क्रॉप लोन्स मीडियम लॉन्ग टर्म लोन्स फॉर एग्रीकल्चर लोन्स फॉर प्री पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट लोन्स फॉर डिस्ट्रेस फार्मर्स लोन्स अंडर किसान क्रेडिट कार्ड लोन्स टू स्मॉल फार्मर्स मार्जिन फार्मर्स राइट नाउ दिस वन इज एन अपडेट लोन अगेंस्ट प्लेज हाइपोथिकेशन ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर प्रोड्यूस फॉर अ पीरियड नॉट एक्सीडिंग ट्वेल्व मंथ्स सब्जेक्ट टू अ लिमिट अप टू सेवेंटी फाइव लैक्स अगेंस्ट एन डब्ल्यू आर्स एंड ई एन डब्ल्यू आर्स these are the warehouse receipts and up to 50 lakh against the warehouse receipts other than nws and enws theek hai so these that's an amendment ye amendment thi to i guess 2 saal pehle aayi thi and it was there in the exam okay so at that point it was very important it was there in the exam loans to farmers for installation of stand alone solar agriculture pumps loans to farmers for installation of solar power plants on barren fallow land so these loans are priority sector lending loans okay uh should i say that this is important all the people all the the uh, lecture the entire lecture is very important right but wherever it is is very important question has in the previous paper even this top this particular point it, it has been asked in the previous paper very important session today we are doing so what is the definition of small and marginal farmers Uh, the farmers with land holding of up to one hectare, it's a marginal farmer. Farmer with land holding of more than one hectare but less than two hectare is a small farmer. Landless agricultural labourers, right? Loans to self-help groups or joint liability groups, loans of up to two lakh to individual who's engaged in the allied activities of agriculture. Loans to FPO, FPCs, right? Um, that's also uh, a marginal uh, loans to small and marginal farmers, right? So that's the definition of small and marginal farmers. Lending by and they'll be considered as priority sector loans. Lending by banks to NBFCs for on lending. What is on lending? Uh, let's say a proper bank, uh, IDBI Bank. Let's say, ठीक है. They gave loan to Shri uh, to an NBFC. Let's say Shri Ram Finance. and that the nbfc give a priority sector loan now that psl would be considered towards the uh, the psl target of idbi uh, bank but there are certain limits is process ko bolte hain on lending this is now known as on lending okay so lending by banks to nbfcs and NB, uh, mfis on on lending in agriculture there are certain limits what is the limit uh, the bank credit to registered nbfcs towards on lending for term lending component under, under agriculture would be allowed up to 10 lakh rupee per borrower so 10 lakh rupee per borrower tak it is allowed and it would be considered toward priority sector lending directly nahi bhi diya indirectly diya to bhi consider hoga so revised classification of uh, the msme so if the investment in the plant and machinery is up to 1 crore an annual turnover is up to 5 crore it is a micro enterprise so investment in uh, you know uh, plant and machinery is up to 10 crore and annual turnover is up to 50 crore it's a small enterprise so investment in plant and machinery is up to 50 crore and annual turnover is not more than 250 crore it's a medium enterprise so please remember that so this is very important question asked in the previous paper pichle saal puche gaye hain all the slides are very important okay export credit under agriculture and msme sectors are allowed to be classified as psl in the respective categories and what are the targets for the export credit 
इंक्रीमेंटल एक्सपोर्ट क्रेडिट ओवर कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग डेट ऑफ द प्रोसीडिंग ईयर अप टू टू परसेंट ऑफ ए एन बी सी और सी ओ बी ई विच एवर इज हायर ठीक है इंक्रीमेंटल एक्सपोर्ट क्रेडिट ठीक है मतलब पिछले साल से ज़्यादा अगर पिछले साल सौ था तो इस साल एक सौ दो राइट सो अप टू टू परसेंट वेयर विद अ सेंक्शन लिमिट ऑफ अप टू फोर्टी करोर पर बॉरवर फोर्टी करोर पर बॉरवर की लिमिट है बट देर इज़ नो सच लिमिट इन द फॉरन बैंक्स राइट फॉर फॉरन बैंक्स विद लेस दैन ट्वेंटी ब्रांचेज इट इज थर्टी टू परसेंट एक्सपोर्ट क्रेडिट अप टू थर्टी टू परसेंट ऑफ ए एन बी सी और सी ओ बी राइट सो इट इज़ दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इज़ अनटचड ओके आई हैव सीन कि जिस टॉपिक से कभी पहले पेपर में नहीं आया उसमें से आ जाता है इसमें से कभी आया नहीं आज तक दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्सपोर्ट क्रेडिट का टॉपिक सो इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इसमें से आया नहीं है कभी पेपर में बट आ सकता है एडुकेशन लोन्स सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई हैव सीन इट मल्टीपल टाइम्स एडुकेशन लोन्स अप टू ट्वेंटी लाख रुपीज दे आर कंसिडर टू वर्ड टू वर्ड प्रायरिटी सेक्टर लेंडिंग तो इसको याद रखो बीस लाख रुपए तक के लोन दे आर प्रायरिटी सेक्टर लेंडिंग लोन्स ओके वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई हैव सीन दिस क्वेश्चन मल्टीपल टाइम्स इसको मल्टीपल स्टार्स देने पड़ेंगे मल्टीपल टाइम्स आई हैव सीन दिस क्वेश्चन सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट ओके सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड बैंक लोन टू द हाउसिंग सेक्टर्स हाउसिंग के जो लोन्स हैं लोन्स टू इंडिविजुअल्स अप टू थर्टी फाइव लाख रुपीज थर्टी फाइव लाख रुपीज इन मेट्रोपोलिटन सेंटर्स विद पॉपुलेशन ऑफ टेन लैख एंड अबव इफ द पॉपुलेशन इन द सिटी इज टेन लैख एंड अबव दस लाख से ऊपर हैं तो पैंतीस लाख तक रुपये तक का लोन वेयर द कॉस्ट ऑफ द हाउस इज फोर्टी फाइव लैक्स वेयर द कॉस्ट ऑफ द हाउस इज फोर्टी फाइव लैक्स एंड फॉर अदर सिटीज ट्वेंटी फाइव लाख रुपये तक के लोन where the cost is 35 lakhs where the cost is 35 cost of the house is 35 lakhs that is a priority sector loan okay loan to the own employees won't be considered okay and if the uh, loans are backed by uh, since housing loan which are backed by long term bonds are exempted from an bc and they should not be considered for priority sector theek okay? hai so that's that's very important this particular point uh, has been asked in the previous paper so please remember that a star is there okay housing loans for the repairs jo repair wale housing loans hain housing loans for the repair loan up to 10 lakh in metropolitan centers and 6 lakhs in other centers metropolitan ki definition i have already explained 10 lakh se zyada population 10 lakh rupaye tak ke loan for the repairs of the house uh, in the metropolitan and for the city 6 lakh tak ke loan they would be considered for the priority sector lending and that's important i have not seen this question in the paper ever but still it can be there in the exam aa sakta hai paper thoda sa tough hua to aa jayega okay bank loans to the hfcs uh, for on lending i have already explained you what is on lending bank loans to hfcs for on lending up to 20 lakh for individual borrowers <coughs> they will be considered towards priority sector lending to isko aap yaad rakhe theek hai for individual borrowers for purchase construction reconstruction of individual dwelling units for slum clearance or rehabilitation they will be considered towards priority sector lending targets social uh, infrastructure for social infrastructure bank loans of up to 5 crores up to 5 crores for setting up schools <coughs> drinking water facilities sanitation facilities in facilities ko banane ke liye the bank loans that have been taken 5 crore rupees tak ke they are considered towards priority sector questions as in the previous paper and for ayushman bharat ke under health healthcare facilities banane ke liye that will be 10 crores and it has been asked in the previous papers <coughs> these limits are not applicable to rrbs ucbs and sfbs okay Uh, मतलब अगर आर ने लोन लिया दिया तो ये प्रायरिटी सेक्टर की तरफ कंसिडर नहीं होगा बैंक लोन्स अप टू थर्टी करोर फॉर पर्पसेस लाइक सोलर बेस्ड पावर जनरेटर्स बायोमास बेस्ड पावर जनरेटर्स विंड मिल्स हाइडल प्लांट्स नॉन कन्वेंशनल एनर्जी बेस्ड पब्लिक यूटिलिटीज लाइक स्ट्रीट लाइटिंग सिस्टम रिमोट विलेज इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन दैट विल बी प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर एंड इफ एन इंडिविजुअल इज टेकिंग दैट लोन दैट वुड बी टेन लैख पर बॉरवर का लिमिट ओके सो थर्टी करोर्स फॉर फॉर द कम्युनिटीज फॉर द गवर्नमेंट और फॉर द कंपनीज राइट फॉर इंडिविजुअल दैट इज टेन लैख रुपी पर बॉरवर ओके बैंक लोन्स टू एन बी एफ सीज फॉर ऑन लेंडिंग 
not applicable to RRBs or UCBs or SFBs. So bank credit to registered NBFCs for on lending will be eligible for classification under priority sector loan. Again, bank is giving loan to NBFC, NBFC ne aage diya. For the priority sector, that would be considered for priority sector, okay. For agriculture, the limit is 10 lakh rupee per borrower. For micro and small enterprises, the limit is 20 lakh rupee per borrower. I have seen the same questions in the previous papers. Very, very important. Two, three questions would be there in your exam directly from this particular session that we are doing. Aaj jo hum class kar rahe hain, aaj ki jo class hai, ye jo aap kar rahe ho, there will be two, three questions in your exam for sure. And you don't need to pay for this, right? So ye aapke exam mein aayega, don't worry. You can watch this session again. I'll, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the PPT with you guys. I'll make the link in the description tomorrow. Okay. Aaj upload kar denge and kal ye available rahega, theek hai. Let's move forward. Bank loans to HFCs for on lending. Okay, so bank credit to HFCs approved by NBFCs for their refinance for on lending. Bank ne jo, uh, jo bank loan de te HFCs ko. Bank ne loan the HFC ko, HFC ne individual ko aapke aur mere jaise ko diya. Up to 20 lakh rupee per borrower. That will be a priority sector lending loan. I have not seen this question in the previous paper, but it can be there in your exam in the future. 20 lakh rupee per borrower. Okay. Cap on on lending, bank credit to NBFCs including HFCs for on lending, there is a cap on that. Overall limit is 5% of individual banks total priority sector lending target. Okay, overall 5% ka limit hai, 5% of overall priority sector lending of the bank, uska 5% hi on lending pe diya ja sakta hai, uske baad wo consider nahi hoga, theek hai, that can, that's a limit. So please remember that, although I have need, not seen this question any time in the exam, but it can be there. So what is the priority sector lending target for advances to weaker section in commercial banks? It is 12%. Okay, 15% for RRBs, 12% for small finance banks. As per the priority sector uh, lending target uh, guidelines by RBI, higher weightage of one uh, of, I guess, 125% is given to the to the districts, to the lower per capita PSL district, 6,000 rupees ka limit hai wahan pe. Priority sector lending, what is the new limit for renewable energy projects? That's 30 crore rupees. Okay. So in set uh, of rules, which of the following are priority sector loans? Yes, are hi hai. I hope if you have seen the whole session clearly, if you have seen thoroughly this session, this is easy hai question. It's what is the priority sector lending? Hai. So you can read this from if you want to. Agriculture, MSME, export credit, education, housing, social infrastructure, renewable energy, and other all these are priority sector lending. Key categories. What is the applicable limit for, uh, for uh, bank loans for uh, priority sector lending for building social infrastructure like schools, drinking water, sanitation facilities? Uh, 5 crore rupee ka limit hai, okay. Or Ayushman Bharat ke liye 10 crore rupee ka limit hai, okay. Ayushman Bharat ke under uh, healthcare facilities banane ke liye. Prescribed limit for education, educational loans for priority sector. It's 20 lakh rupees. I have seen this question multiple times in multiple exams. Okay. Target for domestic scheduled commercial bank for priority sector lending. Basic question, very easy question. Lollipop question, 40% of ANBC or credit equivalent amount of of balance sheet exposure. Ek bar to ANBC ki full form bhi exam mein aai hai, right? Very common question, right? So this one I have already done. <coughs> Just starting mein humne wo uh, chart kiya tha in the beginning of the lecture. Maybe is mein ek do changes hain, to ye na padhe, wo hi padhe. Which among the following is not included in weaker section now? This one is updated now. So ye question chhod dijiye. Choose the wrong statement <coughs> uh, for the prescribed loans. Uh, housing loan to the own uh, employees, they are not considered under priority sector. So that is uh, not, uh, that is false. And even the first one, 35 lakh rupee takka loan, uh, jo hai, that is priority sector. Cost of the house can be 45 lakhs, but loan can be maximum 35 lakhs. <clears throat> so students, I hope you like the today's session. That was a demo session for PNB SO Credit Officer 2024 course. In which we are doing the video classes, the notes, quizzes, test series, interview preparation guidance, everything is part of the course. Uh, so link to join the course is available in the description. That was a 25 minutes long uh, session. 
and the most updated session for priority sector lending and i hope you like the today's session uh pnbso credit officer course link is available in the description even the the union bank of india credit manager course that link is also available in the description list of our successful students in the pnbso credit officer last year all these students that took a course and they cracked their exams i'm really really happy for them so we are a very small institute there will be like 20 25 30 students and most of the students are going to crack the exam because we give the best study material we give the best analysis to all our students right list of our successful students in the past all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams for pnbso credit officer last year we did the course we got success so all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them you can be one of them in the future join the class link is available in the description and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day my whatsapp number is already here it's always there this is my personal whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye